This video brought to you by our Patreons. Please consider supporting this channel and joining our Patreons at patreon.com forward slash NovaWing24. Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are for another super big edition here of the Nova Wrap here on Sunday the 1st of November 2020 and happy Halloween or happy Samhain uh, to everybody for yesterday or slash last night. All right, so a bit of a no tam for everybody here, uh, for especially, and I, 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 I was about to say this is going to be for today's episode only, but you know what? I think it's going to be at least for the considerable future. Um, I'm going to be starting to really, really abridge how how much I cover off a lot of the content, this payware content is coming out for Microsoft Flight Simulator, because quite frankly. Um, the quality is questionable, the prices are ridiculous, um, and developers, if you want to come in here and not just make a cash grab and you actually want to be here, uh, you know, the, well, actually, let me rephrase, the worst part is I'm seeing a lot of developers seem to be coming in here for a cash grab. Um, a lot of people are, uh, uh, you know, we've got these, we've got developers coming out left, right and center, popping out new products. And quite frankly, the standard is getting worse as time goes on, not better. That's not how this is supposed to work. And the prices are starting to look ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to be really starting to really abridge how I cover off stuff. And I'm probably, to be honest, I'm probably going to get a lot more. And, and it sounds terrible about this because I always try to, to make sure that I, and I appreciate this very much during, during my Twitch, Twitch uh, streams is that, you know, we need to not judge things until we've experienced them. However, what I'm experiencing through this sim, through what I'm seeing through this sim at the moment and through these other add-on developers is absolutely disgusting. Uh, so uh, let's get started with the new releases with one that is a perfect example of this, I feel, in some in some ways. Uh, from new developer Red Wing Sim uh, comes to their release of the, their, their edition of Sion Airport, which is a uh, Swiss airport in, uh, sorry, a uh, airport in the Rhone Valley. Um, now, this airport here uh, is li literally, is, there's six lines in the description. It is ridiculous. It is simply Sion Airport at the heart of the Alps. It's a civilian military airport. Okay. And um, they're supposed to, what it looks like is vaguely, I can tell from the publicity screenshots they've released, is that they've done the airport. They've done a couple of custom buildings. Um, they've done a lot of VFR points in the town, which I will give them credit for. That's great. Um, but very little information and yeah, that's it. And the, well, the part that really gets me is they're charging 20 bucks for it. Uh, so yes, if you do want to add it to your SIM, available now from SIM Market. And the next release that we've got for another this one, this one's even worse. This one's two lines. Uh, there is nothing about the airports. This is from new developer again, LD Improvement, uh, for, from, for their edition of Pinto Martins Airport. Um, there, there is literally nothing about this airport in like in the description. It, like it talks about the real world one, but nothing to do with the sim one. Looking through the screenshots, I'll give them credit. It looks like the it, the textures and the building modeling is done pretty well. Um, my big issue with it is the satellite photo real imagery they're using underneath it looks absolutely atrocious. Now I have not flown over this airport in the sim by default, so I don't know whether they're just using default uh, photo reel, or maybe they're using something that's even worse quality from a third party. I don't know. Uh, but as I said, there's very little description about how they're improving this. Um, this particular developer, as I said, they're a, you know, they're a new developer. Uh, their claim is that they are making a low cost and you know, greatly improved uh, low cost airports using the native SDK. Okay. Uh, and this is their first product. And I'm like, okay, you're coming out and you're charging 12 bucks for this. Again, I don't know. I haven't got it. I haven't uh, tried it. I haven't actually uh, flown there either to the real one or this aftermarket one. But at least do a bit of description about how did you improve it? How did you make this airport better? There you go. That's my two cents worth. If you do want to pick it up, available for 12 US dollars or your original equivalent, available now from Sim Market. And a developer from, from a developer that's been exceedingly busy since this sim came out, DC Scenery Design, came their latest airport. And a, seriously, their price points are all over the damn shop. So we're back to 12 bucks for this price point for their release of Wrangell Airport in Alaska. Now, 
to their credit, this one looks like they've done a lot more work on this airport, which is why it's sort of like, it's sort of like their mid-price range, uh, the mid-pricing tier, and yet I think this one probably has the most work and most effort they've actually put into it. So, you know, props to them for that. Now, looking at it, uh, so this, is, this airport is one in Alaska that is actually a single runway ops um, designed to operate 737s uh, for both a car passenger and cargo services uh, and the limited terminals that it has available has both uh, international and domestic travel supports as well. Uh, again, another developer where they really need to up their game when it comes to the description because it has information about the real one and then the scenery features is a copy is a copy passer for every single one of their releases. It, ne it never changed. It is the same six items every time. So so yeah, guys, lift your game. But I appreciate the fact that you've reset your price point on this one. Still think you probably need to wind down to stick with the lower price tier, but there you go. If you want to pick this one up, as I said, 12 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Sim Market. In the next airport release one, and this one I think actually is the most value for money, I have to say, for this one, uh, is uh, Vendit La Tranche Airport uh, from new developer, again, TBLF Scenery. Uh, so this one is, uh, again, so this is their first uh, rendered for airport for the new sim. Uh, now, this is uh, an interesting one because it is a GA airport, so it's a... Um, it's an airport with a great, so it's grass, grass strips operations, grass strip operations, single runway ops uh, for GA services, which to be fair is kind of what this sim right now is absolutely perfect for. Uh, so, it, and looking at the detail, the level of detail and the graphical attention to detail has gone through with this airport, including um, all the uh, textures are done in high resolution, 4K or better textures, uh, high resolution 3D models, and the little details, like to the, put, to, the, to the point of putting little placards down on the side of the like picnic tables by the viewing area like that's an insane amount of detail while also still making a frame frame rate friendly and the combining stuff with the uh, from uh, actual photos of the site along with updated satellite imagery and aerial imagery as well uh, they've also updated the terrain sort of elevation map details give a bit of custom mesh for the terrain area as well and that's kind of cool as well as well as a, a adding a various vfr land landmarks nearby for adding that kind of flying so and all of this coming in for five bucks so you know i, I as i said out of Everything that we're looking at today, this one has to be the best value. Um, so yeah, if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for five US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Sim Market. Moving on to another release, another GA release this week from Vario Design, a more seasoned developer, uh, with their release of Harris Hill Soaring, Cor uh, Soaring Corporation for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, this one uh, is one, it's, 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 this one also has an extreme amount of detail that's gone into this one, which is really impressive to see. I sometimes feel, though, is that was this one was this one released a little early uh, because we don't have glider ops. So this airport uh, is primarily serves as a op base of operations for gliding, uh, for gliding ops. Uh, and, in fact, and in actual fact, actually has a, uh, the the national, United States' National Glider Museum is actually located at this uh, at this airport and is actually modeled here in this rendition of Harris Hill Airport as well, which is really kind of cool. Uh, so the uh, main runway uh, is a concreted, concreted air runway, has been concreted since 1969 and is uh, available for all good GA services, uh, including high definition 3D buildings and 4K or better textures throughout the uh, add on. Uh, includes updated corrected uh, elevation data for the hill and the surrounding area, uh, updated elevation uh, vegetation placement, and also a variety of uh, VFR landmarks again to make sure that you're there for your flying options there as well. And as, as I said, with the French release before, an insane amount of detail has gone into the buildings for this one as well. So uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, coming in 13 so 12 us dollars for this one so yeah i think the price point might be a little on the high side but still pretty damn awesome for this one uh, especially for the amount of detail you get available now from sim market on to our next release for the uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator coming to us from developer F Soars uh, with their release of their rendition of uh, Globa de Andrade Roca Airport, which was opened in 2019 uh, in the mun municipality of Vitoria de Conquista Baja. Oy, I can't believe I actually managed to get that out. I'm sure I managed to mess it up though. Anyway, uh, so this airport uh, was a, a, uh, opened up uh, to replace the old airport, which is a which was much smaller. And this one now has now operations up for medium haul airliners, including uh, 737, the seven, extended 737 family. 
Uh, this rendition in it takes uh, does what a lot of developers uh, what developers are starting to utilize. Um, so, but it is natively supported by the new sim, which is the Parallax Window system that's supported by the native Asobo Microsoft buildings and then uh, add-ons rather than uh, it's only it's not really being picked up by the other developers yet but it's great to see that this developer has picked this one up uh, it's otherwise other parts of the internal interior has been modeled includes uh, undulating runways custom uh, aerial ortho uh, imagery to improve the surrounding area as well and full support for 4k PBR materials throughout blah 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 um this one I got to admit is a pretty awesome prize this comes in for less than 10 bucks and overall I think the aerial imagery they've used is a little rubbish, but the actual airport modeling itself is pretty awesome. And the fact that they've paid attention to details of stuff outside the fence as well, to make sure you have those visual markers, visual cues for you know, an approach, that's a really important uh, pick up on that one as well. As I said, for a, a really competitive price uh, for this one, available now, as I said, for uh, nine US dollars, or your original equivalent available now from Sim Market. Because you are with another release this week for the release from Simbreeze with their release of Tenerife South for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, this one's a port. Uh, I haven't got much else to say about this one. This one's a port over from their uh, ESP, uh, their prepared version of this. Uh, ported over. They've, again, another developer where they've really skimped. There is zero detail about this. Like, there is nothing. Um, really disappointing. Uh, in terms of the screenshots, though, it... It's a port. It's a straight up port over. Um, what does that mean for level of detail and stuff like that? I've got to admit that while it is obviously a port, they've at least paid attention to what they ported over and updated materials and updated content as well. So it's a good quality port. I'll give them that. Uh, now, if you're a new user of this one, you're picking this one up for 12 bucks. If you're a, an existing user, you get a 50% discount for this one available now from Sim Market. Gives me on with another release this week uh, from uh, developer Just Sim uh, with their release uh, of their another port over of a uh, Basel Mulhaus Freiburg uh, in International Airport, uh, which is really interesting airport because it uh, it sits in the uh, the sort of at the nestled at the um, the tri national border uh, between France, Germany, and Switzerland, and is jointly managed by both the French and the Swiss. Um, now, in terms of, again, another developer where they're really letting themselves down, there is zero description about what is, like, what, what, why should I buy this, basically? Um, it's a straight port over, um, though, again, credit where credit's due. It looks like they have made sure they've, they've updated the PBR. Um, they've, looks like they've done a lot of work on their glass jetways as well. So I'd be curious to know how well that works, interior terminal modeling, that kind of stuff as well. But, looking pretty good aerial imagery looks really really well done i must admit that that was a really really well done it blends seamlessly in with the surrounding stuff from microsoft so good job on that uh coming in uh for normal price of 21 dollars, so i think a little on the overpriced side uh, but you do get a fair you get a very very hefty discount on this one you get about a 60 percent discount uh if you're an existing user available now from sim market uh, moving on to the next release this time from season developer Tropical Sim 2 with their release of Rio de Janeiro Santos Dumont uh, International Airport. Um, this one, the developer at least, credit or credit due, they've at least said what sets this apart from the ESP version because, again, it's a port over. Um, however, they have gone through and they've redone all the texturing, they've redone all the materials, they've redone all the lighting to make full support of the um, of Microsoft Flight Simulator's native uh, systems as well, including functional glass models of the jetways as well, which is nice to see. Again, a lot of detail to go on that one. Uh, and they've they've chosen to go with the see-through, like modeling the interiors rather than the parallax windows. Uh, I think that's other needs people. I think they really, other developers really need to get on board with this parallax window stuff because it's such a frame. It's such an, a system intensity, like like low intensity system. You get a, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Basically, you get a lot of bang for your buck with that one in terms of you reduce the amount of polys, reduce the amount of stuff that you that you user system needs to render, but you still get a really good quality product out of it. So. Anyway, uh, as I said, this is a partial port over, so it's not a full port. Um, so they have reused some assets, but as I said, they've redone everything to support the new sim, and it is an update to its current appearance as it appears uh, during the mid-2020. So uh, great to see that it's not just a straight port. It is an update. 
brings everything along with the sim looking reasonably good a little rough around the edges on some places but overall looking pretty good other than the water masking available now from sim markets because here we are with the next release with uh, this time from Sierra simulation who's been releasing a lot of stuff for the new sim with their latest release of Camilo Daza International Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, now, this one is, once again, a port over. Um, so, you know, sort of mainly a port over. It does have some updates. Um, they've updated the materials, updated the models to make sure it is compatible with the new sims. They've updated to undulating runway uh, and taxiways. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's a, it's a port over. Um, now, in terms of that, um, the if you're a new user, you get this one for 15 bucks. If you're an existing user, you're getting sweet FI of a discount, which is kind of, I don't know. I got mixed feelings about discounts for, for that anyway. But um, yeah, you're getting, uh, you get 10% is what you get as a discount. So eh, you're basically not getting much. Anyway, uh, either way, available now from Sim Market. This is on with more release of Microsoft Flight Simulator, but this time moving away from airports, but to more scenery. So uh, we've seen another wave of cityscapes and landmarks packs come out. Now I've got mixed feelings about these packs, especially the pricing of them. Uh, so the first cab off the rank is uh, from developer Tabare, is their, their Dallas uh, pack. So uh, in their own words, again, another developer who's just not giving a lot of description here. This is sweet FA. Uh, it just simply says, a fairly simple scenery offering enhancement of the city of Dallas. Okay. And um, TLDR, from looking at the screenshots, it looks like a, a lot of your big buildings, your major buildings, uh, they've been added in, given custom 3D models, which look reasonably good. Um, and having now reviewed uh, a couple of city packs and landmark packs, um, I get why they're actually, I actually do get why they're important, but I think that they're massively over, overinflated in prices. Because remember is that we're not supposed to be, this isn't, this isn't Microsoft Drone Simulator. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator. You see it from when you're flying around, at, you know, you know, half a mile, quarter of a mile from the building. You don't go right up to it. We do with the drone camera, which a lot of us seem to do. So yeah, your mileage may vary. Uh, overall, though, not looking too bad. Not hugely impressed about the price, especially given the lack of detail. Looking at fifteen US dollars or your original equivalent, available now from your favorite flight sim retailer. In the next city pack, landmark pack release this week came to us from developer Cloud Surf Asia Simulations with their release of Singapore Downtown for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, this one, at least, they give us a lot more information for this one where they give, but again, it's kind of generic though. It says hundreds of high quality, authentic 3D models, um, we all in high definition te textures from two, to, from two to 4K resolution. And all objects uh, modeled uh, in support full PBR materials include stunning night lighting effects and built with the native uh, simulators SDK. Uh, in, in, list of enhanced locations include Marina Bay, Marina Bay, uh, so Marina Square, Gardens by the Bay, SATS cruise ports, uh, the main port itself, Sentosa Island, Vivo City, Cable Cars, National Stadium, um, hundreds of skyscrapers, uh, cargo ships, cruise ships and yachts, and many, many more. Right, now, actually looking at it from the screenshots, it actually looks really, really good, especially at night. At day, daytime, it, it, the, a couple of key buildings that are not there in the sim are there, which is great to see. Um, but the this, this add-on really comes to life at night. Like, really comes to life at night. Because having spent time in Singapore myself... Um, Singapore is a city uh, that absolutely, or Singapore is, Singapore is a country that comes to life at night. It really, really does. And that I think this add-on does capture that. Uh, now, in terms of price, we're looking at 12 US dollars for this one. Um, given that basically that's the same price as the Dallas one, you get a lot more bang for your buck with this one uh, in terms of both quality and what it looks like and what it's covering. Um, the big one, I think for this one, for me, really, I, I, if, if I had to pick between the two, I would say this one because these buildings and the, 
ships in the harbour are such an integral part of the experience of flying into Singapore that this one would be, uh, if you intend to fly in and out of Singapore regularly, um, this is a no-brainer. Get this one. So there you go. Uh, but as I said, available now for 12 US dollars, or original equivalent available now from Simarket. Continuing on with a, another <laughs> another landmark pack. Oh, dear God, they're all there everywhere. Uh, and this time, continuing on with the higher end of the spectrum uh, from Sam Scene 3D, uh, who are famous for doing a lot of city packs over the years. Uh, so they released their rendition of Hong Kong City Times for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, now, in terms of this, uh, what do you get for this one? So this one, again, is one where you, you do get a lot for your money, this one. You get over 300 um, iconic buildings and apartment blocks are included, including most of the major museums, building apartment banks um, in both Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. Includes a highly detailed rendition of Victoria Harbour. All of the major bridges also done included as well. All objects done with full support for high, high resolution textures and PBR materials. Includes night lighting effects as well, which also look pretty damn awesome. Uh, animated Hong Kong Star Ferry um, and a variety of other and, and also replacing the auto gen for the region with Hong Kong style buildings as well in the new territories. So that's kind of cool. Uh, some of, they do note though that there are some landmarks that they haven't included at launch but are coming in the future. So you're also paying for future updates. I'll let, uh, that's a whole conversation to leave for another day. Um, but overall, I think the pack looks good. It also includes an, uh, a base update to uh, the airport VHHH as well. Um, the other important thing to note for those who might be, who might remember, especially you know, people like who've been ever flying around, both flying in the real life and flying sims for long enough to remember Kai, the old Kai Tak airport when you used to have to fly at a mountain for the checkerboard approach. Um, Please bear in mind, you don't get that with this. You don't because that area, that whole area has been now been turned into a park and a, um, a commercial area. So you get it as it appears now. So please don't go complaining, oh, Kytec's not there. It's because it's not there anymore. It's been shut for 20 years. So get over it. Uh, now, in terms of price, 19 bucks. Ugh. I'm on the fence about this one because I think it's I think it's overpriced. I flat out think it's overpriced. Um, yeah, I think it's overpriced. I mean, don't get me wrong. Incredible quality work, but I think it is overpriced. But if you do want to add it to your experience, but again, at the same time, if you're going to, if you're going to spending a lot of time flying in and out of Hong Kong, you really want to do something to update the skyline. So your mileage may vary. Available now from Samsung 3D. Now, moving on to another release from Microsoft Lumber Lights Unit, and flat out, I'm going to call this one complete bullshit straight away to get started. Uh, okay, so from Flight Simulator Innovative Add-ons comes First Officer Airline Edition for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, if you're looking at the video while I'm talking about this and you go, but hang on a minute, no boing, that's not Microsoft Flight Simulator, that's prepared V4. You would absolutely be right because they have nothing no material for their rendition of the new sim. In fact, they actually state that it's not working. Like, they're literally selling you a product that doesn't do what it says on the tin. That is, for 20 bucks, hell no. That's complete bullshit. That, if, if you're going to sell a product at full price and, it, and straight up say, it doesn't do what it says it can do. Don't sell it. Wait. So they're, they're complaining that, oh, whoa, the MSFS SDK is currently very limited, so we can't implement all the things we want to do. But it's okay. We'll charge you full price anyway and just hope that we can fix it later. No. No. Flat out. That's a hard no. No. So the problem is, I don't even know what of this vast list of stuff, which apparently it can do, it can actually do. Um, it's like, no. No, okay, I, I much rather prefer to look at the, the way the FSU crew looked at the, the approach. This was where they, they released a brand new product that they said, look, this will work with prepared and I, I think it was an FSX, but definitely prepared um, and will work with the new sim. The 
stuff we want to do with the UCM currently doesn't work. Not all of it does. Some of it does, but not all of it. It's just, it's there, it's there. It'll give you, it'll read you the checkbacks, it'll read you the list, but it won't interact for you. Um, like their one for prepared will. But they also sold it to you for like half price because they said it doesn't do everything we want it to do yet. So we'll get there. Um, these guys, full price, which is more than what FS2 Crew is selling it to you for. And it's not as capable. So flat out, no. I mean, if you really want to spend 20 bucks on it, be my guest. Um, but all they've done is they've repackaged a product from um, the, all the, all the, all the Flight Simulator innovative add-ons have done is they haven't innovated. They've just simply taken their product from uh, prepared and just dumped it into MSFS and said, yeah, it's crap. It doesn't work, but we'll sell it to you anyway. So no. Moving on. Uh, okay, that concludes all of the MSFS stuff today. Moving on to the world of our legacy sims of the study with the world of prepared. So that was actually a great segue into the world of, into the world of prepared. Uh, from France VFR saw the latest release of their uh, of their latest piece of photoreal imagery and photoreal sceneries to come out of uh, Hotel Normandy VFR for prepared V4 and V5. Uh, so includes a high detail resolution uh, imagery and custom terrain mesh of the entire region of Upper Normandy, uh, with ground textures ranging from half centimeter to one meter per pixel resolution, uh, and all custom uh, reworked it and, and uh, hand, cur hand curated to make sure they all blend seamlessly. Uh, includes updated um, water masking and uh, transparency management throughout, and includes a huge range of all major obstacles and VFR landmarks and models, including and throughout the sceneries, according to the official SIA database as well. So we can which covers um, antennas, towers, water towers, wind turbines, and various major buildings. Hundreds of thousands of um, objects and notable buildings have all been integrated into the environment, uh, including churches, power plants, silos, castles, industrial tanks, etc., 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 and uh, the integration of their custom technology to allow a, um, a huge number of buildings and vegetation to be put into more realistic settings. So uh, if you're into flying in France uh, in prepared, then this is probably, you probably already got this one. Uh, now standard price for this one is normally 40 bucks, but they got a, um, a launch special for 23 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Sim Market. Continuing on with airport releases for prepared V4 and V5 from low end PC studios. So the release this week of uh, the airport of their Enter Airport uh, in Peru. Um, now I, I kind of like these guys because they their products are never that expensive. This one's ten bucks, um, and yeah, it, it's it, to to me it offers better quality than some of the stuff that's being charged for fifteen twenty bucks in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, so it's a neat little airport that's in the middle of nowhere, um, uh, that is only sort of there for private and chartered operations, uh, in nestled in the middle of a uh, valley between a whole heap of towering mountains. So its approaches is very, cha uh, approaches are very tr challenging, uh, but it supports full PBR ground poly, uh, full set of dynamic lighting, custom 3D objects, uh, including a lot of photoreal textures overlaid onto those objects as well. And looking again for low NPC stuff, for high performing stuff, cheap it still looks pretty good and this one as i said is available for 10 us dollars original equivalent available now from sin market moving out of the world of prepared and moving into the world of x-plane it's all the release this week from just sim of their rendition of helsinki international airport um not much to say about this one. It's poured over of their yeah, of their prepared one. Um, it includes, uh, but all updated to work with X-Plane 11. Include uh, detailed airport layout as appears in 2020, including uh, custom airport objects, vehicles, uh, all airport buildings modeled in high resolution uh, 3D models and high resolution texturing. Includes custom runway textures, uh, excellent night effects, uh, reflections on the glass, full support for world traffic and X-Light traffic as well, and full support for a variety of X-Plane 11 features as well. Coming in for 22 US dollars, or original equivalent, available now from explain.org. Moving on to another sim that never does, that um, I, I, I love seeing that this sim is still getting love. I really do, because I think it was one of those sims that was 
woefully underrated. It was so awesome under the hood, but it just never got the love it deserved. And that's Aeroflight FS2 and Just Flight releasing their uh, Hawk T1A advanced trainer uh, for that platform as well. So um, this, I love the Hawk. I really do. I've got it for prepared and I have it for X-Plane 11. I absolutely love it in both platforms. I'm probably going to end up getting it for this platform as well. Um, a couple of interesting quirks about this one, though, is that, as I said, he's got a custom code electric system, realistic gear, all the rest of it. It's a port over. Um, but one of the things that seems to be interesting is that the weapon systems modeling looks like it didn't port over very well. Um, because it looks like it only has... You, it looks like you either can run it in clean uh, air show configuration with a smoke pod on the belly um, or weapons configuration. The weapons configuration seems to be locked to having uh, the belly Aiden cannon pod and four Matra uh, magic missiles under the wings. It's really weird seeing a Royal Air Force aircraft flying with the Matra magics under the, under the wing. That looks so weird because it wouldn't happen but anyway um other than that it, i'm sure it's going to be a bucket ton of fun to fly uh looking pretty awesome uh if you want to pick this one up coming in at 42 us dollars or your original equivalent available now from just flights moving out of uh the normal flight sims moving into a well it's it's questionable whether it's a flight sim or not i love it so i'm going to cover this anyway uh ace combat 7 came out with their latest piece of dlc this week well actually technically it's three pieces of dlc uh, so they came out with their original aircraft series piece of dlc so that was three pieces of dlc um so it was the asfx shinden 2 set uh the xfa 27 set and the cfa 44 nos Nosferatu set. Um, now, each of those sets includes a playable aircraft uh, and a bunch of uh, skins included for each one. So seven skins for each of those airframes. Um, now, if you were to buy... Now, you can either buy them individually uh, and you can buy them individually for about five bucks uh, from your favorite platform, whether it be a PC or console. Or you can buy the that you can buy them together as the um, original aircraft series set. Now, if you buy them together as the set, um, you get bonus emblems and skins for other aircraft in the sim. So you get 20 emblems, including um, two new nugget emblems, uh, five emblems for a variety of squadrons in the game, and 13 emblems from other games in the from other games in the series and other squadrons throughout the whole Ace Combat franchise. Um, you also get 12 new skins, including a variety of skins, uh, most of which are, all, are drawn from Ace Combat Zero, the Belkin War, um, including the famous uh, uh, Eagle, the F-18C Eagle Cypher skin and the Raphael M. Espada skin uh, included as well. As I said, you can pick these ones up each for about five bucks each or 13 US dollars or original equivalent available for get the whole pack available now. Moving out of flight sims, moving into the permanent way. So the release this week are from Train Simulator, of their latest piece of DLC, where they release of the suburban Glasgow Northwest Springburn to Hel Helensburg route add-on. Jeez, try saying that ten times quickly. Anyway, uh, so this uh, originally this particular area was uh, this particular route was originally formed in the 1960s, an amalgamation of various Victorian era railway lines in the Glasgow area, and also brought under one um umbrella. And having to uh, modernise them, you know, get all the rails lined up and get everything electrified as uh, time went on as well. Now, this particular uh, route add-on uh, includes uh, 43 accurately recreated stations along the route, uh, includes uh, a variety of custom modeling of various surrounding areas as well, including uh, the areas of Finiston, uh, with iconic buildings of the Hydro, Clyde Auditorium, and Riverside Museum, among others, all included. Uh, you go through a variety of parts of the west, uh, through the west of Glasgow, including routes via both Singer and Yorker, uh, which, by the way, that means nothing to me. But anyway, moving on uh you, also, you get a variety you also get six career scenarios included with this one as well and you get two livery so two trains included the uh british rail class 320 emu and the british rail class 158 dmus included uh, in both in scott rail Salt saltia liveries are included in this pack as well and this is all coming in at normally for 40 us dollars but on launch special at the moment for 32 us dollars or your original equivalent available now on steam and finally, rounding out the Nova app for this week, uh, with the release this week from, of into early access of a game, it's really kind of quirky, kind of interesting, this one, uh, called Tin Can. Um, so, this is 
kind of random this one. So this is interesting title. So it's basically it's kind of like a simulation survival title where uh, you've been on you're on a spaceship and then um, it blows up and you jump into a escape pod to to escape. Uh, but you're now in this escape pod. And you're trying to figure it out and you're trying to make it work so you can survive long enough to get rescued. So it's a combination survival game with simulation game. Kind of weird, kind of quirky, kind of interesting. It, they picked an interesting price point for this one as well. 15 US dollars original equivalent for on early access available now on Steam. And with that, folks, that does now round out the Nova for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Just a quick note down for everybody. Um, I will not be, there will be no episode next week. Uh, I am actually racing my, <laughs> probably my first and only race uh, for a triathlon race for 2020. Uh, I'll be racing next weekend, so there will be no Nova app next weekend, so expect the Nova to return in two weeks' time. Uh, otherwise, folks, thank you very much for joining in. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And, of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search Nova Wing 24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.